Hey, what's up you guys? So today we're gonna to be taking this plain wall and doing a grid pattern on it. So we will be using quite a few tools with this project. I'm gonna go ahead and leave those in the description below just to save us some time. So first we're gonna take our measurements of the wall. I will do probably a separate video for this just to keep this one shorter. And I did go ahead and tape up the design just to see what it was gonna look like. And don't worry, found a second home for the tape. And after this home, it found another home. All about sustainability. Anyway, I started the demo work here. We're just gonna go ahead and tear out all the baseboards and remove some of the light switches. I did try to buy pre-prime boards only to find out that Home Depot is out of stock. So as with all my projects, it seems like I never can find the right board size for Home Depot. So I went ahead and cut these three inch wide boards and got them primed. And with those primed, I went ahead and let them dry and we started picking the paint color. Since we were torn between three of them, we went ahead and painted squares of them of grizzle gray, web gray, and peppercorn. We ended up going with the peppercorn color. And even though it does cost more, I would definitely recommend the Emerald by Sharon Williams. And you definitely want to sand your boards so that the paint will come out smooth later. For this part, we're gonna, we're gonna put a big flat sheet up on the wall. We wanna try to cover up this texture on the wall. They're four by eight sheets. So I'm gonna run eight foot long this way and about four foot vertically. And we wanna try to have them land between the bats. That way we don't end up with them having the seams that you have to cover up later. Well, one of the other options that you could do with this is cut out squares individually once you have the battens on the wall. I think what I'd rather do is go ahead and cover the whole wall with hardboard. That's to avoid skin coating. And then we will have to cut out outlets. So we'll see how it goes. What was crazy is they wanted 70 $9 for delivery and my car is too small so I got lucky that one of our friends allowed us to borrow his truck. And what I'm doing here is just marking out where the outlets are going to go. to freehand some of the cuts here for the outlets with the jigsaw and then went ahead and put up the hardboard. And since my rip guide only goes to 24 inches, I did have to freehand some of these pieces. Uh, most of the ones that were jagged ended up behind battens, so it didn't really matter anyway. Then I went ahead and put a layer of primer over the wall before getting started on putting the battens in. Cut myself a spacer. It's gonna be for the horizontal boards. I'll show you how we're gonna use this. I know that whenever I put this spacer down, that's where my next horizontal board is gonna land. And I did mark out three inches on this. What that'll do is tell me, okay, that's about how thick that horizontal board will be. You can see where the next one's gonna go. I am gonna start from the top down, since that's gonna be the place where you're gonna see most of the room. If there's any errors in the spacing at all, at least they'll be down at the bottom instead of at the top. Guys, if you like this video, be on the lookout because the bed frame that you see in the final reveal is going to have a video coming out for it soon too.